Hello, I'm Dr. John Tierling from the University of California, San Francisco and the San Francisco VA Medical Center. And I have the honor of being the chairperson for the Galactic HF trial. And on behalf of all the investigators and patients, it's an honor to have an opportunity to talk to you about this exciting study. I'd like to remind all of you that the central defect and initiating factor in heart failure with hef, heart failure with reduced ejection fraction is a decrease in systolic function. And so the main goal of galactic HF was to test for the first time the hypothesis that specifically improving cardiac performance can result in improved clinical outcomes in patients with FREF. Participants in galactic HF had symptomatic chronic heart failure with ejection fractions less than or equal to 35% with an elevated um, natriuretic peptide who were uh, receiving standard heart failure therapies and were enrolled from both inpatient and outpatient settings. These patients were randomized one-to-one to, one to omicamtiv macarbal, a cardiac myosin activator, which acts as a myotrope, using a pharmaco um, pharmacokinetically guided dosing protocol or placebo. A total of 8,256 patients were randomized in galactic HF, and only one patient was lost to follow up for vital status. Patients were followed for about 22 months in the study. On, um, patients were very consistent with other prior trials, though it, um, galactic HF enrolled a broader patient population than in many studies, with patients with lower systolic blood pressures, worse renal function, and more elevated NT pro BNPs than in most of the other studies. And also importantly, patients with galactic HF had among the best heart failure therapies at baseline of any contemporary heart failure trial, allowing it to be very pertinent to today's um, therapy, therapeutic um, milieu. So I'm very pleased to report that galactic HF met its primary endpoint, which was a composite outcome of the time to first heart failure event or cardiovascular death with a p-value of 0.025. And this represented an 8% reduction in the overall um, value of this composite endpoint. And so for the first time, these results confirm that the hypothesis of selectively increasing cardiac function with this cardiac myosin activator, omicamtum carbol, that it can improve clinical outcomes in patients with FREF. The um, composite endpoint was made of two components, first of which was the first heart failure event, which was reduced by 7% in the omicamtum carbol treated patients, though this did not reach statistical significance, had a p-value of 0 0.06. And then also the risk of cardiovascular death which was not significantly reduced by omicamtum macarbal. In addition, we looked at another secondary endpoint, which was the Kansas City Cardiomyopathy Questionnaire. And even though the overall joint P, uh, test p-value of 0.028 um, suggested there might be a difference between the two inpatient and outpatient groups in terms of their response, to omicamtum macarbal, it didn't meet our pre-specified threshold. So that was also not positive. Um, I'd like to point out one of the more important aspects of this trial in that in the subgroups showed a very consistent result across the trial. But most importantly, there seemed to be some heterogeneity in the treatment effect with respect to baseline ejection fraction. And this interaction p-value was 0 0.003. And it suggested that there was an additional benefit in patients who had ejection fractions less than or equal to 28%, such that those patients had a nominal 16% reduction in this primary endpoint. And this makes sense because patients with more reduced um, systolic function and lower ejection fractions might be considered reasonable to benefit more from a therapy that improves that systolic function. Also very important and unique among these kind of trials is that the um, omicamtum macarbal had no effect on systolic blood pressure, potassium homeostasis, or renal function. And there was a small reduction in heart rate consistent with sympathetic withdrawal, a reduced natriuretic peptides consistent with improved ventricular wall stress and decongestion. Um, and there was no imbalance of adverse events or serious adverse events, including cardiac ischemia or ventricular arrhythmias. So galactic HF represents the culmination of a journey that started over one century ago and has demonstrated that selectively 
targeting the cardiac sarcomere with omicantin mecarbal, which is the first in class myotrope, is a novel approach to improving cardiac function and clinical outcomes. And this journey started with the idea that we need, by improving cardiac function, we can improve clinical outcomes. And we finally have an answer to this hypothesis, which is that yes, we can. Thank you very much for your attention. And I look forward to discussing this further with any of you.